Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing some Sevuland poly gels and also showing how I created this poly gel overlay on my natural nails. So let's get right into the video. So the brand Savvyland reached out a while back and sent over four poly gel shades for me to try out. And this video has actually taken me quite a while to get done. And that is because I personally don't really use poly gel that much since I personally like to keep my natural nails natural. And I also uh, typically do dip powder. But I figured since a lot of you guys have requested me to do more poly gel videos, I would go ahead and review these. So they sent over two chameleon shades, which are basically color changing, and then two diamond shades, which are glitter poly gels. So here are what the tubes look like. They are 30 grams, and the information regarding ingredients is on the back. And then once you open up the caps, they are sealed, which is really important so that none of the gel spills out. So here is shade WY03, and it changes from a white to sort of magenta shade. Here's the color WY11, and this is a color changing from a sort of coral shade to white. Next up is the shade DP11, and this is sort of a pinky glitter. This one is super fun, and I think it definitely looks good with the magenta color. And then lastly, here is shade DP04, and this is a iridescent glitter in a clear base. And here are all of the colors laid out next to each other so you can see what they look like. And the two color changing ones are at the bottom, and then the glitters are at the top. So here are my clean and prep natural nails. And I'm going to start by applying a thin layer of dehydrator, and this is going to prep the nail surface for the poly gel application. Then I'm going to be following that with a thin layer of my Oomp Peel Off base coat, and this is going to allow super easy pop off removal of my poly gel nails. Now, if you did not want your poly gel nails to come off, you would obviously skip this step and go in with the next step, which is the gel base coat. And if you want more information regarding peel off base coats, I actually have a very detailed video on my channel and I will be sure to leave that linked in the cards. So now I'm going to be going in with my Gershon Soak Off Gel Base Coat and I'm going to be applying a thin layer of this to all of my nails and this is going to help the poly gel adhere to my natural nail. So the shade I decided to use is WY11, and this is the sort of white and coral color. So I'm going to take my cuticle pusher and scrape a small bead out and then place that at the center of my nail. And then with a small gel brush dipped in some rubbing alcohol, I'm going to go ahead and firmly press down to pat the product in place. Now you want to keep a good amount of the rubbing alcohol or slip solution or whatever you're using on your brush because otherwise the poly gel tends to stick and drag and it is a little bit harder to work with that way. So you have to find a balance between the liquid and gel, but once you find it, I noticed that this poly gel was super easy to mold and form. It's very good at self leveling so there aren't any lumps or bumps and it wasn't too sticky. So here's the first nail after curing, and you can see it self-leveled beautifully and the color is amazing. So now I'm just moving on to my second nail, and I'm doing the exact same process as before. And if I'm trying to compare this poly gel to others I've tried in the past, it's very similar to the formula of the McCart poly gels, so it doesn't have a grainy texture and it's super easy to mold into shape. So I really like the formula of these poly gels, and I think the color options are really great. So I'm going to let you guys watch me finish up molding this nail, and then I'll do the other two off camera, and I'll be right back. So 
So here are those two nails all complete. And I just want to quickly show you guys the thickness. So these nails aren't super thick and the structure is very nice. Now since my nails are short, I didn't really build up the structure too much. But I really like the thickness I was able to achieve. So I just went ahead and filed off camera. And then I'm cleansing off any of the dust. And now I'm going to go in with a thin layer of my Gershon gel top coat. Now you can really use any base gel and top gel you want. The Gershon ones are just the ones I had on hand, but I find that these ones work really well, especially with this brand of poly gel. So I'm going to apply a nice thin layer of this top coat and it's going to add a super beautiful shine to my nails. And once I'm happy, I'm going to cure in my LED lamp for 30 seconds. And after curing, I'm going to rehydrate my skin and nails using my favorite candy skincare cuticle oil. And here is the finished manicure I was able to create using the Savuland Poly Gel. So I really like how natural these poly gel nails came out. They're super chic and the color changing look is really cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below and I will see you in the next one.